What's up good people? It's Irene underscore Jeb and welcome back to our channel. So in today's reaction, I am going to talk about Wode Maya. He actually met with Kino on the plane on transit to Trinidad and actually like uh, Wode Maya was heading to meet the president of uh, Guyana. Another thing that I will be responding is or analyzing is congrats mom video did they really have a fight were they having a fight or did congrats mom send congrats dad away so i also have my own perspective regarding that because i've already had a lot of lies a lot of uh, manipulation in a specific section of the video but before we jump into the real reaction kindly if it's your first time joining us, consider subscribing and kindly don't forget to turn on the notification bell. So guys, let's dive in to our reaction video. Guys, actually I am really, really like extremely happy today. You know, actually one of you uh, texted me via WhatsApp and actually told me about this Wodemaya video, the latest one, actually the video is titled Flying from Jamaica to Meet the President of Guyana. And as I don't even know if it's a she, he, but guys, I, I just want to appreciate you, all of you, all of you. I want to appreciate you for actually like uh, reaching out to us and telling us these things. And you know, this specific um, video, Wodemaya met with Kino in uh, the airplane and actually they were talking and you know what Wodemaya told Kino that he knew him through Dimwango's uh, videos or through Dimwango and he also told uh, Kino that he watches almost every African YouTuber and I'm like wow you know I'm really happy inside my heart because you know now this will demystify uh, these gossips and lies uh, by the lazy gang trying to always convince you that Wodemaya, Marwa Dimwango like they are not in good terms and you can imagine guys if you watch uh, Wodemaya's latest video the one that he posted um, I, okay, for me, when I'm seeing it now, it's 20 hours ago. So I don't know about you, but the latest video, uh, I am so glad. Just actually just watch, uh, watch that whole video and you listen how actually what Maya, they were having this conversation with uh, Kino. All of them were traveling to Trinidad and guys... I am so happy to talk about this. I am really, 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 and really appreciative of uh, Wodemaya for coming out and trying to, and actually explaining and talking about this issue, confirming that he doesn't have any issue with Dimwango, um, Ayamara, and the family and everybody else. Because now, you know, this lazy gang, they have been actually like um, trying to lie to people that Marwa doesn't like Wodemaya. Wodemaya and Marwa are not in good terms. Wodemaya, Marwa, and uh, Dimwango, they are not in good terms. Guys, for me, I've always been explaining to you that Marwa doesn't have anything or any bad feeling about uh, Wodemaya and today Wodemaya confirms the same he doesn't have any uh, any bad feeling or I don't know how to explain this but I hope you understand he actually knew Kino through Dean Wango's videos that is how he started following him thank you thank you Wodemaya for confirming on your end that no hatred amongst you all of you you have no it for anybody thank you so much and to this specific person who sent me this uh, specific link this specific information thank you thank you thank you be blessed forever and always guys if you want me to react on anything reach out to me my number is in my description 
description box just uh whatsapp me or you can also use um my instagram page i am uh not i am but irene underscore jeb is my instagram account you can also find the link in the description box and at the same time if you are joining us for the first time kindly consider subscribing and don't forget to turn on the notification bell this is because whenever we post a video you are going to actually get a notification and you will never miss our videos and nowadays we do reactions and vlogs so if you are not interested in reactions kindly support me by watching um my vlogs or vlogs and guys if you are not interested in my vlogs kindly watch the reaction videos and just to say a very big thank you thank you thank you and thank you i don't know even where to end the thank you now at this point i want to take this opportunity and appreciate air caribbean guys uh when wademaya was flying into jamaica he was actually talking about having an issue with uh, the caribbean airline they had actually like a uh, something like overcharged him and he complained in his video watch uh his video when he was actually coming in to jamaica and my good people the airline reached out to waremaya and furthermore they refunded the money which are uh, they had actually charged him thank you so much caribbean nation you are the best of the best like you really support our people like truly support them all utterly whoever comes there you hold their hand and they come out there very very strong like never before and may god continue blessing you may you continue having the same same art that you have been having towards everybody and thank you so much so guys um i want to is it to respond or to react either way so uh congrats mom was actually in this um luxurious room with congrats uh, dad and at that moment as congrats mom was actually having a room tour uh i i think congrats dad was trying to open something and it was really really hard like extremely hard to open it and at that moment congrats mom told him like uh, you just pull like this just pull like this and you know sometimes when you tell us your friend or partner you can just do this by word of mouth then they tell you uh don't talk come and do it practically then uh, you can talk about it so that was the situation that happened congrats uh, dad was trying to open something that was extremely difficult like the level of difficulty was really high and you can imagine with all the muscles and it was really hard that means that actually there was no hope of it opening unless to maybe try and losing something which he was actually eating on it or yeah eating on it so that it can loosen and they, it can open and now um this lazy gang member she's here telling us that congrats mom and congrats dad are fighting or were fighting to the point of even describing how uh congrats mom was like uh doing the hands like this and the congrats dad were uh, standing and leaving guys why do you exaggerate this lazy gang member why does she want to exaggerate everything guys like we can clearly watch the conversations and i uh, actually did you hear even some part where uh he was she, this lazy gang was saying that um congrats dad spoke in swahili uh to mean that uh in such a way that uh, he was really disappointed and trying to convince you that indeed they were fighting but i went to the video back to the video again watched and you know i had already watched but i didn't know that someone can come up with an allegation of oh these people were fighting the thing was congrats mom was giving a house uh, not a house but a room the luxurious uh, room tour uh, paid for by the mango as part of the uh, valentine's surprise and by the way and by the way before i forget this i really want to thank congrats dad for actually appreciating marwa because it was like now uh, dimwango is independent because marwa showed her the way oh, i was almost almost confusing him uh, 
Thank you so much, congrats dad. And let me now go back to the initial story. Congrats mom giving out uh, or showing us the tour, room tour. I don't know why house is always in my head, room tour. So uh, congrats dad at the same time is trying to open this thing to loosen it so that it can open, it is not opening. Congrats mom gives him an idea by word of mouth, just pull like this. And congrats uh, dad tells him like talking and doing it is different you should do it yourself practically so that uh, you can feel the level of difficulty just like that nothing else and someone is out here saying that they were fighting wow even if it's coming up with lies and allegation and everything that is on another level which i really fail to understand why would you watch someone's video and then so people are just creating normal videos, normal videos about themselves, about their environment. But you go and pick this specific part and manipulate it, manipulate it, manipulate it to sound that something wrong was happening here. Guys, there was nothing wrong that was happening. There was nothing wrong that was happening. And if you don't believe me, Look for someone who understands uh, Swahili to watch them and translate them for you, that specific video. And why would couples like congrats dad and congrats mom fight publicly? Why would they do that? Someone is calling me. So guys, I was like, why would, like, do you think even uh, people like congrats uh, dad and congrats mom can fight in public at that age you know some people are talking uh, nonsense they're talking things that can never happen yes i don't disagree with the fact that people can uh, quarrel even at that age but it can never happen on videos even if it happens it it will never be posted that age it's an age where actually they advise other people on matters relationship but not to bring out um things like that you know i was really disappointed because you know at some point this lady was like uh, congrats mom chased out uh congrats dad but you can imagine he holds uh congrats mom was holding a phone here and okay it was i think it was in the right hand uh trying to vlog and then he was actually uh describing to congrats dad you can pull it like this now that's sign of the hand you you can pull it like this has been used um as if she was actually chasing away uh congrats dad like like this hey people are crazy 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 hey guys no 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 guys 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 kindly 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 people should stop um talking about the topic now about uh d like embarrassing the dad to the whole world never ever never ever in fact it was the father who suggested that the mother will be or should be bought a car as a gift because i remember d mongo asking uh the dad what do you think i should surprise my, uh, mom with now i'm trying to like talk directly what that is what uh d mongo asked the dad what do you think we should surprise um the mother with and the the dad actually suggested a car it's the father so that topic should have been closed like yesterday it's unfortunate that they're still continuing with the same uh topic that the father was embarrassed uh, to the world when uh, d was gifting the mom a car he was actually and then again here uh, congrats mom is embarrassing um the dad to the world no guys no guys it's you who are creating now then this reactor it's you who is creating all these uh things no one else no one else it's you who is corrupting people's mind the audience's mind and trying to make them believe that something is wrong of which it's not true stop incitement um stop inciting people about all these things stop manipulating them that is not what happened that's not what happened it's only you who has actually decided to view it in a very negative way extremely negative way and 
I am really really mad and sad at the same time because at this point you know there's some there is someone uh, down there is someone sitting down there and believing all these lies no don't believe this crap you know some crazy crazy comments here they are trying to advise congrats mom not to like um embarrass congrats dad and that she should respect him guys i think those people who are having such or writing such comments number one you don't understand swahili number two you follow these negative reactors because for real some people they don't watch the content itself the original content some people actually just watch the reactors to get an highlight of what happened and you know that will be their perspective that's how they think about that video or that part and you you just go sit down and listen to them instead of going to the exact or the original video you watch and understand it for yourself and if you don't understand a certain language contact someone who understands someone who is neutral not someone who is uh, sided oh my god oh my god today uh, this person has decided to eat on congrats mom like you are the reason as to why uh, Mara and the siblings don't care about the father how now how now how now because actually even during the party congrats dad and mom they were there like 24 7 trying to follow up on everything and you remember even the last day congrats dad was there like trying to protect uh, Mara and uh, the property and everything by trying to tell people you need to give him time to rest now he has been working two months um continuously without resting and guys trust you me when mara starts uh, traveling like very soon what will happen congrats dad will take over the property and he will actually like work with the people who have already been employed and ensure that everything runs as smoothly and back in the days like we, we could see the children always supporting uh, the father like for real me i don't know what this person is saying that it's the reason uh, uh, that our uh, congrats mom is the reason as to why the kids don't respect uh, him. Like, what did you see that actually warrant such comments? What did you see? Because even uh, Mara, before he does anything, he always like uh, talks to the dad, he talks to the mom, and he discusses everything with him. Actually, you see me right now where I am seated. I am just alone in the room. I don't want disturbance at the same time. So, like, that's why you will always notice that rea my reaction videos are way different from the vlogs because vlogs have a, a lot of distractions. Or I don't know how to explain it, but you see, when you are vlogging, like, you are describing something, someone is talking there, another, pa like, there are a lot of activities happening while someone is vlogging. That's why it's really difficult even sometimes, but when it comes to analysis and reaction and everything, you are alone, and even you try to restrict the kids and tell them, hey, I am creating a video, kindly uh, sit in the sitting room, when I'm done, then you can open the door. So there is... And right now, if anyone comes, like, opens my door right now, like, what I was supposed to say, it just disappears like that because concentration goes on uh, the other end. And why am I saying this? Why am I saying this? Because, you know, there is this perspective also where someone, I saw a comment where someone was like, um, congrats mom was really disappointed in that uh the sound that was coming out out of that uh, thing that congrats the dad was trying to open and it was really hard for him to loosen it until he had to start eating on it so that it can loosen you know it can happen by the way it can happen like that but the real the, the real thing was not that congrats mom was even mad i understand such uh sounds distractions like they actually disrupt the flow of your content the flow of everything while creating videos and just to confirm to you that according to the video that was not the case congrats mom was not mad in any way in any way 
now uh, Mara is redoing his uh, rooftop and it's a problem to some people that he is actually putting the helipad sign you know Mara is a dreamer Marwa is a dreamer and a very big dreamer for real I was even wondering some people were like he shouldn't be doing this he should be doing that sh like for real you see the problem with the rooftop was that the engineer did not actually put that paper, the black paper. There is a polythene that is normally put when you are constructing so that it prevents um, the leakage of uh, water from either the rooftop or even from down. Even You see down, like when you are starting the foundation and you don't put it, especially in permanent houses, you will see some white stuffs coming out. Mara talked about this thing, the problem with the roof. He talked about it in one of his video. Clearly talked about it. And actually, I, I was very emotional because he was trying to advise people who are actually starting to, uh, or who are in the process of constructing, or if you have any dream of construct, constructing a home. He was actually telling them kindly, if you are doing any construction work, ensure that this polythene is put either when doing foundation or if you have maybe a one-story building or just anything to do with a uh, villas, you know. And that at that point, that is why he said that when they were constructing Villa Medellin, the engineer did not authorize that um, the the fundis, the masons, uh, put this polythene uh, when they were on the first constructing uh, this. I don't know on the rooftop. They did not uh, put. They did not put this uh, polythene when they were constructing. So that is what is happening now, or that is why the rooftop is being redone now, so that they apply the terrazzo and that leakage will be uh, sorted for once and for all so i will kindly urge you not to pressurize them do this do that don't do this don't do that like don't criticize a lot just give an honest opinion but when it comes to the installation of the edge of the helipad it's just something that mr ebole has decided to do as an extra job, you know, he has decided to put it since he is now doing the terrazzo thing on the uh, rooftop. The reason as to why it was never put that paper, the engineer that actually, I don't know if it's the current one, I don't remember because during that time I wasn't so much into following um, the people that were working for Marwa. In fact, even me, I got to know about Gitiriba reason. Like, just recently when I went to Nyabuanse last year and you can imagine he has been with Marwa for three years now and guys the problem with uh, the engineer not putting the paper was the fact that the engineer had actually like um, he had a lot of contracts he had Marwa's and several others I'm not trying to say that uh, Villa Medellin is of poor quality no and I'm just trying to explain why the paper was actually forgotten because you know the engineer is here he tells uh, the masons ensure that when you are actually doing this put this thing and now these people you know they work under instructions and now when the engineer is not there what will they do they will just do some um, some shagala bagala works definitely and definitely it has costed now uh, the travel commando uh, a huge amount of money because it was actually telling us it is uh, close to a million Kenyan shillings so guys when you decide to work for someone, just do it all heartedly. I think uh, this engineer saw that Marwa is a very kind-hearted person. He doesn't want a lot of fights or a lot of quarreling. And now, he had all, all these kinds of jobs. Every, that's what I was actually told when I inquired about why did he forget to put the paper while constructing this roof? Why did he forget? And I was told he had so many jobs. 
constructing so many houses, churches, schools, and now every day, like you will just come to the villa one hour, leave, go to the next, leave. And you know, when he comes to the villa, he instructs uh, the masons, do this, 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 and this. And let me tell you guys, whenever there is a construction happening and the engineer is not there, like physically and live to like um like to manage and oversee everything to control everything guys because you know these other people they are not engineers they are, they are not engineers they are just workers they do as per instructions now when you leave instructions to them how will they even, how will they even understand that it's supposed to be done this this and this way that is what um messed up the rooftop of uh, villa medellin but there is always hope because the terrazzo is being fixed right now and i thank god and for me i will just say that guys if you decide to uh, work for someone do it with all your heart with all your soul with all your mind do it with one heart you know guys me i'm just trying to figure out these things that some people are saying and commenting and i'm like like the helicopter is not yet there for you to start saying that the house will crash, the house will crack, the house will, the house will, guys, the helicopter is not even yet there. And at the same time, how do you know that when this helicopter comes, it's going to land on that particular uh, place? How do you know? Because at the same time, the land is so huge. You can decide to have the symbol there and let it be an act, actually a symbol to always remind him that I need to buy an helicopter one day, one time. He might be putting just there so that it can always remind him or it, so that actually he can just like I don't know. You know, some people, you, you, some people just do something, and that something is meant to always remind them, "Hey, there is an helipad somewhere in my house. I need, I need, I need." Even if it happens after five years, ten years, at least the symbol has always been there. And it doesn't mean that it it must land there. It must even land on the compound at the same time. Let's wait until the helicopter is bought and then we can start having discussion of this, the structure and everything and everything and the space. For now, let that remind, remain as part of his dream. To always remind him that I need to buy an helipad one day, one time. I think that's the best thing that we can um, do as of now. But don't pressurize him, guys. <laughs> don't pressurize him. Lazy gang, lazy gang, lazy gang. You still have a problem with Alex changing his name from Ayamara Soja to Why Not Alex? Is that a problem? Is that a problem? Why uh, don't you have a problem with us when we change our names? Because even someone like me, I've changed my name like uh, three times. Why are you having a problem if someone is using Marwa's name and then changes? Hey! Even changing a name is a problem. You start bringing out issues. Oh, guys guys but at the same time at the same time it's actually uh still okay for him to like it's his choice it's still it uh, you know maybe maybe uh alex sat down and he was like i am using a mara soldier and then in the next one year i am maybe mr wilson's soldier now what will happen you know it will be a confusion again to Alex because you never know this world you never know you will never know because sometimes even uh, Alex may be staying with Mara maybe and then after some time he gets a job elsewhere maybe even this Alex sat down and thought like what if I get another job maybe in another town or in another country and at that time i'm no longer i am a soldier now you know it will sound funny funny if actually he will still use i am a soldier because by then he will not be i am a soldier so i don't see any problem in that it's only a matter of um alex thinking about the future you know 
what if even tomorrow he gets a job at a company and at that time he will no longer be working for Marwa but the channel is called a Marwa soldier so let's try and figure out just uh, things like that and then another thing guys when Marwa came out and said that he's going to build a why not Alex a home the labor will be paid by Marwa everything everything and again these nails and iron sheets and again again guys you know the reason as to why all the funding that is meant for the uh, construction of the home the reason as to why it's going to i am mara even now if you contact me and you want to support Mar uh, alex as uh, home or structure or if you call me and you want to and you, you just tell me that you want to support alex one i will ask you does this cont contribution go to Alex's house or does your contribu or you want to like support Alex directly? So it will depend. If you say you want to support uh, Alex's home to build him a home, I will actually send you Marwa's details so that the money can go there because you know a project that is actually aided and managed by one person is easier and everything goes straight but now if we say that Alex receives the money for the construction again you see even planning will be a, a little bit hectic and now if you tell me that you want to support Alex in terms of his personal needs and everything I will actually send you now Alex's number so it will depend but the reason as to why uh, Marwa is supposed to receive the contribution when it comes to the or the support when it comes to the construction and maybe buying anything to do with Alex's home it's because it's actually him who is paying for everything guys Marwa is a very busy man if you happen to talk to anybody who is in uh, Villa Medellin, kindly ask ask them shed the schedule of Maro from morning to evening. It's really hard to find him sitting down and making stories or telling stories. His day is super, super busy, like super busy. And that is why he will always update us like once in a while about the project that is being done in um, Alex's home. So the issue of the lazy gun coming out with um uh the reason as to why he changed uh, the name about the project and everything if you have not contributed anything why would you start um giving your opinion or even advising someone and guys let's just stop this let's stop this you know we must hold one another and move so that we can move forward but the day before the yesterday this lazy gang member was there trying to incite uh, the queen of Villa Medellin to leave the travel commando. Now today she is there trying to incite uh, the fact, definitely to incite um, the relationship between Alex and Ayamara, employee-employer relationship. Guys, 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 guys. I don't know what should be what what should be told to to such people because all the time they just want people um not being in good terms and all this because if you come out and start saying that don't send money to this send money send money directly to like it depends with someone some people actually they will see Alex's number on um the about section that is a fact they see it but they will still like want to ask about several things and for your information for your information guys let me tell you for your information if anyone has a project in Nyabuanse and maybe they are supported by Marwa in one way or the other they will always they will always ask you see something like a passes project the donors the supporters will always want the money to go to a specific person not to go to the person who has uh, or who is doing the project or who the owner of the project uh, themselves himself or herself they never love that because they know when they give you the money 
you will actually have a lot of things to do and you later on you'll bring out a lot of excuses so most of the time someone like alex most people will not want to send the money of the project or money which uh, is meant to do the project directly to him because they know he will use it when it comes to some other things so they will always prefer to give it to someone else so that they can actually be sure that it has gone to use let me tell you that is what normally happens if anybody has a project they will ne people will never want to send you the money directly they prefer to use another channel so that they can watch from that channel that they actually came to do it for you but sending the money directly to you in the evening you will be sending a message back to them or to the donor oh i had this problem i spent this money so this lady this lazy gang uh, member is here trying to uh, incite the audience if you need to send money to alex just send to him directly the number is in this description don't send money to marwa to give to alex he will never get a for your information, it is the supporters, the donors, who always um, want to send money like using a different channel rather than directly to the person. Unless, unless if that money is meant now for you, for your own personal items, like maybe the kids, uh, maybe to buy, just for your personal use, they will always send directly to you. But project, they always use some other people whom they also feel like uh, they trust i can assure you that i can assure you that